Good day, everyone. My name is Blanche Dias, and as promised, I'm back with you again with my weekly videos. I've been away for a good three months visiting family and friends, and also, COVID notwithstanding, I did attend a couple of weddings. These were weddings of my students from the management schools of way back when. It was lovely meeting up with everyone in the batch, and most of them are married now, with the exception of a few. At one such wedding, I met a young man who is very personable, but still a bachelor. And when I jokingly asked him whether he loved his bachelor status, quick was the reply, Oh no ma'am, it's nothing like that. You see, I'm SSP. Well, I was a little puzzled because I wasn't sure what degree this was, nor what the acronym stood for. And I asked him, and he says, I'm taking my time, ma'am. You see, I am SSB. I am seeking a suitable partner. Of course, we had a good chuckle about it, but it got me thinking. What is it that the youngsters today are really looking for in partners? What is this suitable all about? So, on a lazy Sunday afternoon, I picked up the Times of India matrimonial columns and boy, what a hoot! So, I thought I'd make this video, Wedded Bliss, Indian Style. Let's have some fun with it. One of the terms which are constantly repeated in the matrimonial ads is that the suitor wants a bride with a wheatish complexion. It was repeated so often, I began to wonder whether the suitor wanted a bride or perhaps a loaf of bread or a chapati would do just as well. And you know, today the youngsters are all into these newfangled diets. I really wouldn't be surprised if in a week or two I came across an ad which said, wanted a bride with a gluten-free wheatish complexion. Good luck to all of them. Possibly they would find their partners if they hung around more of the local chucky or the flour mill. Both brides and grooms in these ads will tout their foreign returned status. I wonder, does that really make them extra special? Or do they just earn brownie points because they know the difference between Dunkin' Donuts and Idli Vada, Starbucks and good old filter coffee? And these same foreign return types will seek a homely bride with traditional values. Of what use your foreign return status if all you're going to subject your partner to is serving you endless cups of garam chai fresh off the stovetop of your newly minted IKEA modular kitchen? Another term that comes up, bride or groom should have no encumbrances. I can just visualize it. When the families meet for the first time, the first things that are arranged, even before that box of motichur laddus or mitai, a no encumbrance certificate, followed immediately by the double vaccinated no COVID certificate. A trend that is going viral. Puns fully intended. Another one that I come across is, we want a partner with clean habits. This always puzzles me. Does it refer to a good toilet routine? Or maybe it's a way to ascertain that the partner has no gut or bladder issues 
that will suddenly rear its ugly head to impinge on Mediclaim policies and premiums? Or perhaps the ads are just put by somebody who works for an organization which manufactures, sanitizers, Dettol and Lysol. The one thing that gets my goat is when the ad says, couples must be prepared to have no issues. Children are issues now? Then why get married if you don't want children to cement the bond of your relationship? When I was indignant about this, one of the young ladies said, no ma'am, that's not what we meant. Well, then what did you mean? Did you mean that you're going to live a life of many married years together without discussing any issues, be it global warming or whether Djokovic was right or not in the Australian Open, or perhaps that the dodo did really exist? What a boring life you're going to lead. You know, whenever I read these advertisements, it's always amusing at first. But once you know that they are dead serious, I, for one, really want to, with all Indianisms in place, give the people who put these ads out one tight slap. As against, I oppose one loose slap. But either which way, it wouldn't matter, because I think the matrimonial Indianisms seem to be here to stay.